Did you see that? Using video effects. So now I want to show you some of the video effects that are available in Premiere. If you take a look here, we already looked at audio transitions and video transitions. If we go into video effects, there are a number of different folders here. And I'd like to show you a little bit about what some of these do. If we take a look at adjust, adjust affects how the overall video looks as far as color and contrast. And this is a place where you can start making grading changes like that. Uh, there's a number of auto color. Uh, you have to have a clip selected in order to be able to have the effect applied to it. So with that selected, if I now click auto color, that automatically adjusts the color based on these various settings and you can adjust these to whatever you want. You can also even animate them by clicking on the stopwatch and that will allow you to activate animation and be able to set keys. In order to delete an effect all you need to do is click the effect itself and hit the delete key. Lighting effects, if I click this here, you can see here that this creates a false lighting in the scene. You can adjust these lights by opening up the panel and this allows you to affect and you can adjust each of these individually. Shadow and Highlight provides an exaggeration of the differences between shadows and highlights. And to get rid of it, just click it and hit delete. The next section in Blur and Sharpen, we have effects like Camera Blur. Camera Blur affects the entire image. And if you open, and this doesn't have a ton of variance, but it allows you to slide how, how blurry the image gets. So if you wanted to create kind of a, I'm trying to focus kind of look in your video, this would be a way to do that and you can animate it. So if I click the stopwatch, I can go here and add a key and then go here, bring up the blur, go about here bring the blur back down and you can see that it's setting keys here. Add some blur, bring it back down. And now as I scroll through the video, you see that it, that blur comes in and out. So if you were shooting video and you meant it to look like it was home video and the camera was focusing and you intentionally wanted to have that kind of an effect in there, this is a way that you could do that. And of course, to get rid of the effect, if you wanted to get rid of individual animation keys, you can merely highlight them here and delete it. Or you can delete all of them. You can delete the entire effect. Channel blur allows you to blur just certain colors, certain color channels. So for example, here you can see that the green is getting blurred, but the other colors are staying the same. And that can create interesting effects in and of itself. Directional blur. This is something that actually creates the illusion of a blurring effect as a result of direction. So for example, if I dial in direction, right now nothing's happening. And the reason nothing's happening is because there is no blur length set. As soon as I dial up the blur length, now we're starting to see some blur occurring. And now when I adjust direction, you can see that it's affecting the direction that a blur would take, and you can have it be directional. Gaussian blur is a blur that affects kind of from the center as opposed to the overall image. It's, it's not an overall blur as if something was placed over it. And this again could be used for kind of a trying to focus. Ghosting, I'm gonna apply that here to show on this clip. If I apply ghosting to this clip, and you can see that what it does is it's creating it's creating a delay that is occurring over to show kind of like where the effect was. So like this would be something like, you know, you would see like if somebody looked like they were, if they had been tranquilized or something like this and you were getting that effect of like, hey, are you okay? And you had blurry vision or double vision. 
Sharpen is an effect in which, you know, your image is already sharp. If you punch it up, you can actually bring it past the point of where it looks like over sharp so that you have this kind of crispness and it almost creates kind of a, um, it creates almost like a, um, uh, like giving everything a stylized look. If that was something you were going for, it's something you could play with. Color correction is a larger section in which you can adjust values, brightness and contrast, for example. You can bring up the brightness or the contrast just in a particular clip. Broadcast colors automatically applies so that you know that the video that you are editing together will meet broadcast standards. And you can adjust which standards NTSC or PAL here. If we go into the distort section, this section has a number of interesting effects. Bend allows you to dial in that the image is bending. Magnify creates a circle in the middle of the video in which you can adjust the size of that circle and also the position of that circle. And again, you can animate it by clicking on the stopwatch and adding keys. And this magnifies a certain section of the video if you wanted that kind of effect. If you were demonstrating something and you wanted to focus on a particular section. Mirror, by first dialing up the angle, we can affect the angle and then what the center positioning is. And that will give you a mirror effect of the video that's on the screen. Spherize creates a radius within the shot. And by adjusting that position, it's like magnification, but instead of just taking that circle and magnifying everything inside it, it kind of distorts and bubbles up just where that bubble lives. So, for example, now that by putting that kind of over my belly, it gives me certain roundness and <laughs> increases my appearance of my weight. And twirl. It's kind of a typical one that you would expect to see in something like this where you can actually dial in the twirl. And that again can be animated. You can adjust these values in order to be able to give you whatever look you're going for and have that happen over time by adding animation keys. And the last one I wanted to show is wave warp. So this is where it's actually creating a wave across the length of the video. So you can adjust the wave height and the width, the speed at which it waves. So the higher the speed, the more it waves, the quicker it waves. And you can pin it to certain sections. So by pinning to all edges, then it's creating where it happens in the middle and it pins to the edges as opposed to extending beyond the edge of the video. In the next section, We'll continue looking at some of the video effects that you can apply to your video in order to adjust its look in Did You See That? using video effects.